The favorite toy. Girls, did any of you see my teddy? Dorma, let's look for teddy tomorrow. It's time for bed. Ah, oh, I'm ready to drop. Mm. I'll be quick. He's here somewhere. Maybe he fell. Teddy, it's late. It's time for bed now. All right, let's see what we've got here. These belong in the museum. Oh. I've seen you before. Are you magic? You probably belong in the museum, too. Dorma, are you still looking? I thought my teddy was here. Dorma, you are too old for toys and teddy bears. You can sleep without him. Okay. Don't worry, teddy. I'll find you tomorrow. All right, sit here. Hooray! We're alive! It's time to play! Bless you! Let's play together! Look at what I can do! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? Fine! See ya! Ah, there's so much stuff here! That's an interesting cupboard! a trick. I want to be big, too. Ah. Did you keep looking for him even at night? Yes, but then Daria woke up and said I'm too old for toys. That I should act my age and fall asleep without my teddy. I don't need him anymore. But Teddy isn't just a toy. He's my friend. We'll find him, don't worry. Mr. Immortal has a spell for finding lost things. Hey, what's wrong? Let's play circus. Look, I have a whole troop here, and you will be the main event. Why are you crying? You're tired of sitting there? Of course. Why didn't I think of that? A traveling circus. Hey, wait. We haven't taken our troop with us. Fine, I'll bring the troop. You'll get the audience. Teddy, where are you? That's good. Keep going. Teddy, he's here. And there's our audience. Prepare to be amazed by our astounding circus performance. Awesome! Where'd it come from? Maybe the teachers did it as a surprise. Our first act is the Living Tower! I have a bad feeling about this. Taller! Taller! Even more! Oh, flowers! Oh, great! Oh, yeah! What a tremendous tower! Let's make it taller! It's not tremendous at all! It's going to fall on the school! No, it's not! Oh, an ice tower! What an awesome circus! What is going on? Let this bewitched being return to its original form. Oh, Marlene, form. you can't. You made him even bigger. We need to know what kind of magic brought the toy to life. Otherwise, <laughs> the spell won't work correctly. <laughs> life elixir, growth potion. So that's why there are large chess pieces and clowns walking around. Maybe they were the ones who took Teddy. La la la. I don't like chess. Are you? Girls, watch out! I'm activating protection! I can't hold this much longer! I'll help you! <laughs> Leave it! Let it fall! We'll come up with something else! Hey, clown! Just what did you do with my teddy? I found his ribbon, so give him back! Oh, I need my teddy! He's my friend! You lost uh? your teddy, huh? I know what to do. Marlene, if you shrink him, Dorma will fall. You are not part of my troop. All right, fine. I'll take you. You'll be <laughs> our flying acrobat. Hello. <laughs> we need to distract him. Hey, clown. We're artists, too. What's this? Wonderful. Tree frogs. A real circus. Hey, I'm riding a horse. Nice. A round 
of applause. What an awesome troop we are. And finally, my act, the flying acrobat. No, oh. to the moon. <laughs> I would never guess that a simple toy could do something like that. I wish I had a friend like that. And what shall we do with him? Put him somewhere far away. The museum? Maybe it'd be better if we found him a new owner. Somebody who would play with him. Girls, I leave you alone for one day. And we end up with an entire circus outside. So, who's responsible for this mess? Oh, my clown, where did you find him? It's been so long. You are my favorite toy. <coughs> <clears throat> you see, when I was a child, this toy was my best friend. <laughs> and frankly, I'm very glad to see him again. Hello, old friend. The Magical Repair Shop. Hey, listen. I don't get it. Why are you so sensitive? You stepped on my foot five years ago and I didn't say a thing. Not a word. Not even a peep. I forgave you right away, remember? <coughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. And then I need... Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Easy as pie. And I learned how to paint. Water and fire... Can someone explain why we're doing this? They dragged in junk from the basement and it's all right, now fix it. Are we training to open a repair shop? I like it. Just a little more and we'll have a wonderful pot. Mm-hmm. Congrats on your wonderful pot. You're just angry because you can't fix anything yourself. Who, me? I just don't want to waste my time on this. And the professor said this was an optional assignment. Hup. So do it if you want or don't. Either way, I'm out of here. Playing outside in the fresh air, that's what I recommend. You can join me if you want to. <laughs> Got it. Guess nobody else is coming. Well, fine. All right, enough already. Uh, oh. Truce? I owe you an... an, uh... Oh, what if... I kick and use a spell at the same time. Why didn't I think of this before? Now, if only I can remember the spell. Uh, fly high like an arrow. Something... Hmm. Up to the sky, maybe? Oh! You're making this so difficult! Maybe you'll grace the sky. Okay, kapow! Wow, we. It's all because you took offense. You could be at home, your chimney would still be in place, and I was about to say, well, I almost said it, but don't rush me. I nearly apologized. Ah, what's the matter? We'll fix your chimney. <laughs> After all, I'm the strongest magic user of all. Oh! oh! It's not a spell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I set the wrong process in motion. How do I stop it? I've got to stop it now. My dear sweetheart, don't get any smaller. Wait just a moment. I'll be back. What happened to it? <laughs> you could almost send it to kindergarten. Did I do that? The ball hit the chimney and there must have been something important in there. Oh no, what did I do? My magic can be a bit, well, it's hard to explain. Uh, how do I put it? Um, Destructive, perhaps? Yes, and now I'm trying to be, you see, um, hmm, well... Constructive, it seems. Yes, that's it. I can't do it. Please help me. Help your old friend. When exactly were we ever friends? Well, 200 years ago, don't you remember? I was a cute little blonde girl. Huh? Hmm. Please, Mr. Immortal, you must hurry. It's going to disappear. I won't play any dirty tricks, I promise. For a week. No, a month. A month. Two months. Hmm? 
Rooney? What's the matter? I'm afraid that I really messed up and recited a spell wrong and, well, I knocked the chimney off Baba Yaga's hut and then it started to shrink. You did? Mm -hmm. What does the chimney have to do with it? Maybe there was something important inside it. What do you mean? But girls, I feel sorry for it. It's going to be so tiny soon. What can we do? It's simple. We were just studying all kinds of repairs today. Of course, my book. Yes, here it is. Ah, look. Yes, yes, that's the spell. Can you help me, girls? Of course, let's go. Wow, it's tiny. Hello, don't be alarmed. Come on, girls. <laughs> Little to the left, right there. Be careful. All right, Rooney, begin now. Mm -hmm. Fire, water, earth and air. Each has magic everywhere. Hooray! Well done, Rooney. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Come on now, grow! <gasps> uh, uh, it's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'm the one who broke your chimney. We tried to fix it, but... Mm, actually, it, uh, it broke all by itself. What do you mean? You're making this difficult. Ah! Well, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah! That's what happened. Well done, girls. I was certain you were going to fix the chimney either way. Well, yes, and we just had extra practice today on, well, on how we can repair anything, but... Yes, right, exactly what I mean. Yes, but it didn't help. The hut is still small. That is for a completely different reason. You did it. Thank you. Time to go. Hut, let's head home. Don't forget your promise. I had my fingers crossed. Ha ha ha! Oh! Mm, incorrigible. Squirreled away. 28, 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. Aha! <laughs> Me first! Tag! I got you! So what if you did? Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag! Got you, Lisa! <laughs> Have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag! Gotcha, Doria! <laughs> uh. Oh, it's a squirrel! It's so cute! Oh, did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> Dorma! Hello? Dorma, are you there? We give up now. It's not funny, Dorma. She's probably fallen asleep. That would make sense. Have you tried over here? Ooh, as night fell and shadows grew. Little Dorma was still playing hide and seek. Ooh. Cut it out, Rooney. I'm safe. I win, girls. Dorma, you really are something. We were so worried. We almost called the immortal. Where did you go? <laughs> I cannot share my secret, all right? But you really vanished. Very well, then. I'll show you. Come on. Here we are. This is where you hid. It's pretty open. What is this? <gasps> Dorma! Dorma? <laughs> Not quite, dearie. Doria, activate! I've got it! All right, stop! 
What's wrong with me? I've turned to stone and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Zarya. Nice, Zarya. Not quite. <gasps> Fooled you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. <laughs> I've got you now. <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga. If only I had a protective amulet. Bleh. So what? A house on chicken legs. Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? Uh, yes, that's it! Twirls and binds. Now unwind! Please, Hut. <laughs> Let me go. It's not that important for you, is it? to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. Now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> You escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust it to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. <laughs> Girls! Dawn, Dawn, good work! Dawn, that was right. Right. But it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swirl! Oh, wow. Lovely! Yeah. Cute. <laughs> hey! Where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> Unpredictable berries. These carrots are gigantic. 33 times bigger than normal. With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year. I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. They're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year. And there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners. And the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots. We don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Aria, no! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable. And they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shovel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. 
As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. There, gotcha! Heroic leap out! To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's put up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps, stewed nettle salad, the best wooden recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable berry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, Helen. Uh. Big whoop. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictaberry! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles. Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is. Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it, and then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictaberries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected. It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry sprout! Oh, it's over. A sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. going down too. It's nearly dark, which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow. Mm. Even the sourest berries can make. I know what to do. We're going to win this competition. Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Little salad for you. Each bite is a joy. Ahem. The jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm project will be awarded to the unpredictable <gasps> jam from Wonderland School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it. Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Good deeds. Thanks for helping me water the sleeping herb garden. Happy to provide a little rain. Toma, you're a great gardener. Your herbs are actually glowing. Do all sleeping herbs have golden berries like this? They aren't berries. They're golden comet fragments. I read about them in a book by the great astronometer. 
Since you each found one, if each of you does a good deed for someone before sunset, your fragments will fly up into the sky and become golden stars. Golden stars? Are you serious? We are going to do such a huge good deed today. Then, our fragments will be the brightest stars in the entire night sky. And they'll be called... Oh, Super Rumi. And the North Helen. We need the owl. She knows everything that goes on here. If someone needs a good deed, she'll be able to tell us. Help me! Oh! It's a disaster! It's horrible! All my unpredictable berry pies exploded! It turns out that unpredictable berries really don't like being baked. Oh! And I have so much to do today! Oh, what a disaster! Oh! Don't you worry. We'll help clean up. Rooney, this is our good deed. <laughs> Washing some dishes? I don't think it's enough of a good deed. Well, take a few more. No, that's not what I mean. To make our stars shine brighter than the others, we need to do something that isn't just helpful, but something grandiose. And this... We'll just finish this quickly. Okay, let's go. There must be some really important good deeds somewhere out there. Come on. Everything okay here? No one's gotten smaller. No one's stuck in a mirror, gingerbread acting weird. No. Is your tree solid? Magic all under control? The gauntlets have it run off? Uh-uh. <sighs> Rooney, look! Huh? <laughs> Emergency squirrel meeting! Do you think something's happened? Definitely. Someone's bewitched the forest. And we're going to save it. Which will be an international good deed. Show yourself, you nasty sneaky... <gasps> Nut? All that commotion was just about giant nuts? Those could feed all the squirrels in Wondermont. They're going to have quite the feast. That is, if we help them roll the nuts up that hill. Usually, every day is an adventure here. But today, it's just washing up and nut rolling. Talk about bad luck. If we don't find a better good deed, people will need a telescope to see our stars. Even Baba Yaga isn't up to no good today. Or is she? Let's find out. I hope Baba Yaga is planting something beastly. The nastier and more unpleasant, the better. Bingo! Baba Yaga has put a spell on someone. Thank you, Grandma. Do you think it's Leshy? I hope so. I sense a great good deed awaits us. Let's rescue him. Follow me. Ugh. Look, that's it. The more stub in the bush, the brighter our stars. Uh. Just a bit more. Nearly there. Ah. Uh. Oh. Hello there. Where is Leshy? <laughs> what am I, his secretary? Only Leshy knows where Leshy is. So there is no one who needs saving? No one needs saving? Me. I need it. How do you expect me to cope with these horrible prickly plants? No spell can get rid of them. They grow wherever they like and it's ruined my whole garden. Oh, if only someone could get rid of them for a poor old lady. It would be a very good deed indeed. Will you help me? Uh-huh. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? I've been growing those weeds all year. <laughs> it's the roses you need to pull out. Roses. What? Yes. Just look at them. They're ruining my whole weed garden. Oh. <gasps> and speed it up a bit. Time's getting on. It's nearly sunset. Nearly sunset? We're out of time. Oh, not a single proper good deed all day. Rooney, look! <gasps> <laughs> Well, well. I see that today was a day for good deeds. In fact, quite a few good deeds. You must have been working hard. <laughs> we didn't do anything special, though. We did the dishes in the kitchen. And then moved nuts for squirrels. Yeah, and we weeded a garden, sort of. You think that's nothing special? Look, see? Your work in the kitchen allowed the owl to come assist me. Together, we found some valuable old instructions that the Magical Council long believed to be lost. And because all the squirrels were able to fortify themselves with the giant nuts, the Squirrel Express ran at full speed and delivered the instructions to all the wizards. And now, with these in hand, 
The council can create new enchantments. We help the magical council? That's pretty cool. And you help me. Well, the heart. It's foot hurt, you see. It's so lazy. In short, I made an ointment from the weeds. The ones you pulled today. And these are for you. Because I've never liked them. Can't stand the color. There, you see? Even the smallest good deed can have a big impact on someone, somewhere. And they say that those thoughtful people who do good deeds have... <gasps> A heart of gold! A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. Everything Belle the Artist draws comes to life, even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird! <laughs> Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work. Again, another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstein of Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it. See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Belle the Artist's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont! Yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot! It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon! Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon! If you want a famous wizard's talent, I'm guessing you gotta... just go sit on their golden chest, uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented, a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest, and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever! What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Hmm, with her talent, I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal! <laughs> I think I'm more talented already. I think the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests. We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark. This one was Firewing the 39th! Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master! Oh, wow! The Sun Knight's chest! Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool! Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest! El the Artist's chest! Silvestina's chest! Oh, <gasps> Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling!
like they're all back in their places. Every huh? single one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountains, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. <laughs> hmm. And the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen, but that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the brave potions master? Daria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <sighs> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full... They turned gold, didn't they? So, the chests won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> a chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest. And one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end. Vision 3 world's coolest game, Vision 3. My brothers have sent it to me from home. They already have the latest version. What? There's a mission sent to? Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Be a great wizard tomorrow. Tonight it's time to sleep. Save the prince from an enchanted castle. Cool. Level 1, the Jolly Jester Corridor. Want to have some fun? Great job navigating those tiles. You are a great wizard! Rooney, stop that! Can you please turn it down? Rooney, it's breakfast time. Come on, Al made us fruit pudding. Bonus level! <sighs> That's okay, I've got my own fruits here on the bonus level. <laughs> Agility bonus! Mm. All right, you stupid spiderweb. Think you're going to entangle me? You're no <laughs> match for this great wizard. Huh. Uh. Ah, looks like you're just playing a game. Rooney, come with us. Daria found an ancient scroll in the library. It's a spell for a triple force field. Let's go give it a try. My force field in the game is stronger. The ancient hall's beautiful protective web is no match for you. You're a great wizard. Oh, you bet I am. Come on, let's get to the next level. Excellent jump. You're a great wizard. Even great wizards need to eat sometimes to maintain their greatness, uh -oh. you know. You've been playing that for two days now. <gasps> Rooney, where'd you go? I'm inside the game! Well, you better get out of there. I don't know how. The Watchtower Ravens, I can't move on my own. Press the up arrow. No down. Up, down, down, up. <sighs> Rooney, are you okay? I'm fine, but I think there's something wrong with the game. We have to tell the Immortal before someone else ends up in the game, too. Or escapes from the game. <gasps> A Watchtower Raven! It's guarding the game! <gasps> then let's defeat it together. Player 2 has joined. The Jolly Jester Corridor. It's level 1. OK, if the tile you're on blinks, jump to another one so you don't fall into a deep pit. Not my kind of game. But this part is so simple. One, two, and we jump. Yesterday I finished this level on my first try. It's not a game anymore, is it? It feels <gasps> so real. Huh? Rooney? Uh, this 
level is so simple, huh? Well, I didn't sleep much. Of course you didn't. Not with that game. A web? Yeah, it's the second level. We need to run through it with a force field activated. I've already done this. It's simple. Uh, well, it was when I played it. Got it. Pay attention, Rooney. One shield, two shield, three shield, force field. Yeah. One shield, two shield, three shield. Then what? <laughs> How do I break it? Mm, there's a button combo for that. But there aren't any buttons here. I'm gonna end this level. <laughs> Rooney, we did it! <laughs> the Royal Turbo Carpet. It's got alchemic engines. The bonus level. You grab coins from the ravens. Let's grab the whole game. Better than any game. I remember playing Vision 1 back in the day. The ravens were afraid of me. That was fun. Here is where the partition between worlds opened up, and everything fell right out of the game. You can play, but don't forget your schoolwork. Or forget to eat. Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Yeah, been there, done that. But I wouldn't have made it through a single level without Daria. Oh. I'd better go practice force fields. I want to be a great wizard for real, and not just a vision of one. Vision one. You too can be a great wizard. A walk in the woods. First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh. They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school. Ten times over. Hmm. All that's left to do is double-check the route. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictability. Uh-huh. And if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the blue crow. It looks like the crow has relocated. And took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I feel a dainty. It's elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> look at that. What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet. <laughs> Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. The fireflies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him amidst the trees. I know who it is! <gasps> Who's that? 
Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go. Keep your branches off our pond. <gasps> That's a bog. I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry. How's this for slick? <laughs> Rooney, time for fire. Helen, ready your ice. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest, so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait here. <laughs> he means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it from you. Oh, from me? <laughs> we certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Unpredictable. And plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk, and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. <sighs> the blue crow loves the raspberry <laughs> bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I move the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream, and the fireflies closer to the water. Now, do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay, I were. Yes, of course! <laughs> Concert. Please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please, respect the forest. The Gingerbread Man. A glowing pudding. That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... well, well, I've... here. I wanted to make a Sweet Dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh, I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? 
Look, a self-filling tablecloth. It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. Yes, my homework is finally done. Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man. Everyone's going to love me. It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I get to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And I think I need to sleep. Rooney? Sweet dreams. Rooney? Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> We like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where Hurry. are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never managed to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth, but I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the wrong, wrong way around. around. That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dolma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Let's be friends. The recipe says we need some good night, Ginger. And a little calming clove. Got it! Oh. It's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help hold him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. And bake. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, gingerbread man. Look! It's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful Sweet Dreams gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland, and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right! <laughs> Flotation fever.
It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well, then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Rooney, it's your turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Dorma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> It's so hot here. Strange. Oh no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! Somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Okay? Quiet. <gasps> oh, oh no! <sighs> it's snowing. 
It's so nice and cool. Dorma, wake up! Wake up! Huh? <laughs> Dorma, you're awake! Oh. Helen, look out! <gasps> What happened here? Dom is awake. Hmm? Doma, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was such a bad friend. I left you all alone. It's okay, Rooney. I was having such an amazing dream. I could move things through the air with my mind. Oh, I know. You moved all of our stuff outside. <gasps> did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! 